Hey, how's it going? I'm the Weird Vape Guy, and today we're going to be looking at a late review, The Mesh RDA. Bought mine in gold, because I love everything in gold. Um, I wish I had a gold mod, but I don't. Um, but, mo but most of my RDAs and my tanks are in gold. So basically, this is a 24 millimeter RDA. It's got two slots, clamping style system, postless in the deck. Um, I believe it is around 1.5 to 2, maybe even 2.5 millimeters um, wide. So you can fit um, a good quantity of different kinds of coils in here. I'm not so sure if you could fit something like an alien mohawk or something like that. I don't know if you could fit that in there, but most of the coils that I've thrown in here have fit. I've never tried a mohawk, so I just don't think that it would work. But most of them have. The whole thing, or what I've read and what I have seen in other videos, the whole story behind this RDA is that Vandy Vape had plenty of mesh left over um, in their warehouses. And so they wanted to find a way to get rid of it, so they made an RDA that takes mesh. And so that, that way they can distribute mesh um, with this RDA. And they definitely did do that. They give you um, eight pieces, I believe, of stainless steel, nichrome 80, and canthal. That's eight pieces each of uh, mesh, which is ridiculous. That's a lot of mesh to come to just buy for yourself or just to come with anything. That's that's pretty crazy. So they definitely found a way to get rid of their mesh um, that they had left over from other things that they were making. Um, it has a Cyclops style airflow. Uh, you can run it in dual configuration or single airflow um, configuration. It, it's even squonkable. The airflows on this are slightly slanted on the sides, and that's going to direct the airflow straight to your coil, um, which I thought was a great idea. I, I see that a lot of a lot of new RDAs are doing this, you know, because it, it actually makes sense. I think one of one of the firsts was actually Grim Green's RDA, the recoil. And uh, he definitely started something there. You know, being able to, to direct the airflow straight to the coil, not have it bounce around or anything like that is something that is definitely useful, it's important. And it makes a just, I mean, it just makes a lot of sense to get all your vapor, all your flavor out of that particular RDA. Now, as I said before, Vandy Vape is the one who um, made you know this RDA, the Mesh RDA, but they've also made the Kylin, which I you know I love um, a whole lot. They've they've also made the Govad. They they're they're really taking over the market when it comes to RDAs, and in my opinion, tanks as well. There's there's only like a few things that I I have against the Kylin, but for the most part, it's definitely the best tank I've ever owned. And there is definitely some things I don't like about the Mesh RDA. Uh, one, this is a pro and a con, the mesh RDA is very tight. You know, um, when you're turning the airflow, it is, it is, you gotta really put some work into it. When you're taking the top cap off, for sure, you gotta really put some work on it. And I've, I've noticed that it really doesn't matter if you've juiced it up or not, it's gonna be very, very sticky no matter what. And uh, sometimes it's kind of frustrating, but it, for me, it's not really that much of a deal breaker. Um, the RDA is just that good for me, so I don't really care, of, you know, how sticky it is. The con for me is the actual, there's a couple actually, um, for this one particular con, is the uh, slots. Where, where the clamps are, where you put your leads in, they get filled up with juice. And it seems like liquid never stops coming out of that. You know, like when you're dry burning your coil and you're, me personally, I dry burn it. I turn it upside down to get all the liquid out of um, this RDA or any RDA. You know, I try to get that liquid onto the coil to burn off and then I burn it again. And um, it seems like the liquid never quits. Especially if you have like an alien coil in here, which I have the alien stitch in here. Um, it just collects juice, you know, it's a that's a really soaked up coil. It soaks everything up And so you're constantly every time you're you know, you're dry burning You're actually getting liquid and things coming off of it and you're like how much could honestly be left in this RDA? That is something that I don't really like because I like I really like having a dry coil 
you know, when I go to put my cotton in and everything, like, I want it to be bone dry and you can't, it's hard to get that with this RDA. The second con with the slots is when you go to adjust your coil, it will just come out of the slots, um, out of those clamps. Um, I have tightened this thing down to the point where I, you know, I think I'm going to break something and I can still adjust my coil and it'll come out of the slots. You know, um, that is, that is another thing that I, I really don't like about, um, this RDA. Is it a deal breaker? Not really. I mean, you know, if you pull up too hard, you know, it's, you know, that's just going to happen. Um, but if you're adjusting it a little bit, it's not that big of a deal, but it does come out. And that is frustrating at times when I just want to put a coil in here. So I lie. There's definitely three things that I don't like about this. The other thing with the slots, you're going to twist your leads. If you're doing dual, if you're doing dual coil, you're going to twist your leads. That's just how that has to go. If you, if you have five wraps of um, anything, you can lay them in there. Um, you know, where your leads are flat, but most of the time, if you're building coils like I build them, you're going to have to turn them to get them to fit in there, but they're not touching. And um, yeah, you're going to, you're definitely going to bend your leads. But you know, then again, there's not too many RDAs um, out there where you're not going to bend your leads. That's kind of just something that you, that I've started, you know, to um, just to um, suspect nowadays is like, you know, when I get an RDA, I'm probably, whatever the setup is, I'm probably going to have to end up bending my leads. So It also comes with two drip tips. Uh, this one that you see right here, and then a Delrin, more, um, a more textured drip tip that's a lot shorter. I don't use that one. It doesn't heat up or anything like that, which is great, but the problem is it's too short. Your lips come too close to the, to the metal. And uh, that leads me into another con is that this RDA does get hot. It, it, it gets hot very quickly. Um, well, I won't say very quickly. Um, but if you're putting like dual coils in here and you're chain vaping, you know, four or five hits, now I wouldn't even say even to four or five hits, maybe three, two hits, it's going to be hot. It's going to be piping hot. Um, that is something that I don't like about it. If you're doing single coil like I do and you have both airflows open, it's, you can maintain it. You know, it's not that big of a deal. Um, but for dual coils, even with both airflows open, it's going to get hot. It's going to get really hot to the lips. But the flavor is on point. You know, the 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 airflow, the cloud production is on point. Um, you can put about you know just about any coil you want to in here. And if you ever picked up a Cosmonaut, then you're gonna love this RDA because what it really is is a more affordable Cosmonaut. I I I, um, I paid forty for this. The Cosmonaut is sixty. You know, in most places. Um, Online, this mesh RDA is probably cheaper than that. I bought this in the vape store. I could probably get this online for $27, $28. Um, in the vape store, it was $40. And uh, the Cosmonaut, though, even online, it is, it's $60. Um, and I loved the Cosmonaut when I, when I got to try it out and everything. I really, really liked it. Um, and so when I saw this, this was more affordable. And it was postless. And it had uh, the same sort of slot holes as the Cosmonaut did. I really, really wanted it especially after I found out that you can actually put just whatever coils in there. So I definitely wanted it. Um, the single, the single um, airflow is great. The dual airflow is great. There's not a whole lot of bad, you know, uh, about this um, RDA. You know, you can squonk it. You can put mesh in here. They give you plenty of mesh to put in there. Um, and as, as for the contents of the box and, you know, things like that, you, you pretty much get the normal stuff, you know, some O-rings, some grub screws, the uh, squonk pin, um, uh, a tool. You get an Allen key, and I think that's for the squonk pin because I don't know what else that would be for. So, because uh, the grub screws are flatheads, but they do give you an Allen key, so I'm guessing that's for the grub, that, that's for the, the, the squonk pin. And you get, and, you, and then, you know, you get, you get two drip tips, that's pretty cool. There's not really anything bad to say about this. About this RDA. It's definitely one of my favorite RDAs. It's the only one I've been using it for, for a while. So I kind of switched between this and the Kylin. 
And I will be doing an, uh, another late review on the combo too, because I also have that. There's, um, yeah, well, you know, I'll, I'll get to that in, in that review. But um, if, you, if you just want like a really good RDA that you can put almost anything in, easy to build on, this would be the RDA for you. It's very, very, very price affordable, I think. And I really, really like it. I know that they have come out with a, a um, a new mesh RDA, like a mesh RDA 1.5 or something, or 2 or something. I haven't even looked at that, so I have no idea what that's about. Um, but yeah, I really like this RDA, and it's it's fun to build on, and it's easy to build on. You'll see this RDA being used with the Alien Stitched Coil, which I, um, that video will be coming out, uh, if not this weekend, early next week. Um, it's a whole tutorial on aliens and stitched aliens. So, so um, you'll see this again in use uh, within building. So I think that's about it. I really like this RDA. And if you just want an easy RDA to build on and you want something to learn to build on and you want something that's squonkable because squonking is like a new thing that's coming out that a lot of people are catching on to. I do not have a squonker. Um, it would be cool, I guess, to have one. I'm not I'm not jumping off of any boats to swim to shore to buy one, but um, they do look cool. They do look cool. But uh, thank you for watching this, and I, I hope this review helped you out. I hope you, you know, we're on the brink of maybe buying this, maybe not buying this, and I hope this further definitely helps you out. Um, if you like this channel, please subscribe. If you like this video, please like it. But do one of those. Let me know that you want me to keep making these because I have fun making them, but nobody likes them. I don't know. Maybe I won't do them, but hopefully people like them. Also, if you're in the market for some coils, I have an eBay store. The link is in the description. You can grab some there. That helps me out. That helps the channel out. And uh, yeah, just thanks for watching. And as always, if you're going to vape, vape weird.